Hello everyone, FunshineX here. Hope you guys are having a great day. Welcome back to Scrap Mechanics. We are uh, going to check out some cars that I've built and then something really cool. First off, motorcycle. Doesn't look like much, but when it transforms, oh yeah. <laughs> it's got a sidecar to keep it stable and just uh, so it can turn right pretty decently. Um, but if you need to turn left, you're going to fall over unless you deploy the uh, kickstand. <laughs> so now it... Does pretty good on flat ground. Uh, you don't want to drive this thing off-road. It really has a little bit of trouble with that. But yeah, it's pretty cool. That's my uh, my attempt at a, a motorcycle. Oh, oh, no, oh, no. Oh. <laughs> okay. It's good. It needs a little work. All right, so next off, let's see, we have, this is my off-road buggy. I really like uh, how this thing springs into action. Um, Ignore that, I was trying to wait it for jumping, but... Oh no, actually, oh, I remember what this is. Okay, so if you start it off, you're like, what the heck is this? But take this off. Bam! <laughs> now what this thing has... There's a lot of torque. You can do some good wheelies. Let's go see if we can find something to jump off here. It's got some good uh, suspension. Support, support, sports suspension. There we go, let's take a jump. Woohoo! Now what I need to do is roll this thing. Come on. Let's try and roll it. Oh, it fit the tree. There we go. Come on, roll! Yeah. No. <laughs> it's difficult to roll, but that's what I want to show you guys what happens if it does roll. Yee-ha! Oh, I'm just gonna try and jump off that thing. Anyway, if it does roll, it's got a flipping mechanism. Oh, I know, I think I broke his suspension. Come on. Flip me over. Flip me over. You can do it. There we go. Nope, didn't quite work. It was up against the rocks. There we go. Almost. Okay, we made it. <laughs> and it should fold up nicely. Maybe not. Now fold it up. There we go. Okay, okay. Demonstrated. So that's my uh, off-road vehicle with the anti-flip device. And the last one that I have is a dragster. Check out this baby. Ooh, look at that guy. So you place him up here. Looks kind of boring, all flat, but you take that off. That bends down. And then I have this cool sequence here. Watch this. Watch, watching. Oh, yeah. <laughs> This guy's definitely meant for flat roads. It does have a wheelie bar in the back if you go too fast. Um, it has front turning, so it can turn a little bit, but not much. But yeah, this is meant to go down some straight roads really, really fast. Look out! Look out! And we're... Oh, that kind of hurt. All right, enough of this. Let's get to the word, the meat of the episode, what I really want to show you guys. It's just some stuff I've been working on. What is this? Let's go check it out, see what it is. Uh, don't mind the aesthetics. It, I built the shell of this thing really quick just to showcase something, so it looks pretty bad. Um, it's very blocky and, and kind of just all one material. Anyway, let's go ahead and get in the seat and let's close the hatch. Oh yeah, we got a tank. Now there's something unusual about this tank. Normally, if you wanted a, ta uh, a car to steer, you'd have, you know, axle that, that turned. But tanks don't steer that way. They either go both treads forward, or they go both treads in opposite directions to steer. And I've actually accomplished that. I've, I've seen a lot of YouTube videos attempt this, I think. I don't know. I haven't seen one that's been able to accomplish this yet. So, just quick, I have two things. I can rotate the turret left and right, which is pretty cool. Two different directions on toggle. It rolls right back to the center. And open the hatch, close the hatch, and here we go. So if I hit forward, we're going to have, just like a normal car, both wheels going forward. You can see it's not very quick and it is very loud because it relies on bearings. I'll hit back to stop. If I just hit the right button, so I'm hitting D, we should turn to the right. If I hit the left button, A, we should turn to the left. And you can see that turning radius is 
Not quite as good as a tank. It can't do a full spin on a dime, but it is pretty sharp on the spinning. And if you look down here, there's no there's no slight of uh, of hand here. This is actually working on on tank steering. So go both forward. Oops. <laughs> uh, that's one thing I haven't quite figured out how to work out is reverse. So we might be able to get out of here. There we go. And I want to show you this thing on a hill because this thing works really well on a hill. Come to the left. Go straight. Turn to the right a little bit. You can see this thing climbs hills like no other. I don't know. This might be a little steep, but let's try it. No problem. Look at that thing. Yes. <laughs> so again, ignore the aesthetics of the tank. I just wanted to make it look like a tank and uh, showcase the actual turning mechanism. Um, stop. Because I am relying on bearings, and, and bearings do bug sometimes where they keep spinning even when you don't give them input, um, we have a little problem here where I can't turn it off. Or, oh, I see what's happened. Our turning mechanism has bound. Okay. Well, let's, let's hit the tree and stop. Come on, stop us, tree. There we go. All right. Let's put it up on a stand. That should fix it. And I'm going to explain this all. Don't worry about uh, not understanding how it works. We're going to get everything explain so you can build it yourself uh, let's go ahead and drive it back to my uh main area here so i can uh, i've got a little demo that uh shows exactly how it works but yeah this spins while we're going the only thing it doesn't do is fire that would be pretty cool let's take the the hard way we'll go up the hill you can do a tank oh yes yes nothing this tank can't go over You can hear sensors going off. That should give you an ex uh, idea of how this thing works. And up and over. Let's see if we can drive off. Oh, this is a big cliff. This is probably not good. Oh, turn on a dime. Oh, yeah. I also want to show this. Uh, it's got some pretty good um, traction over top of obstacles. So here's the pistons that I built from a while ago. And we can just... Drive right on over him, no problem. Oops, okay. Never mind. Hold on. <laughs> oh no. There we go. Come on. Don't make a fool out of me. I said you could do this, tank. There we go. We get over like two block tall obstacles pretty easily. And there we go. All right, so let's learn how to build this thing. I'm going to first put it on a lift so you guys can see underneath it because pretty much everything... That uses it underneath. Um, you can see we've got four wheels. They're all on piston or on, on bearings. Uh, two controllers here, and then this complicated steering mechanism. All right, this is the brains of everything. Now, how this works is look at that. <laughs> um, you can ignore all this stuff. This is just to rotate the turret and to open the hatch. So ignore these three buttons. Um, but you can see that the wheels are set up like normal. Nothing different about the wheels. And they are going to a, instead of an engine, they're going to a controller. I was originally hoping a sensor could turn on an engine to power the wheels so they could go a little faster. That's not the case. You can't route a, a sensor to an engine. Hopefully they'll change that in the future. If any devs are watching, please make that allowance where a, a sensor can turn an engine on or off. Um, okay. But anyway, so these um, uh, rotation, or these... <laughs> Controllers are all set to 360 and loop. All right, that's important. And we're set as fast as we can go. Um, so that means when you turn it on, it's just going to make the wheel spin all the way around one rotation and then loop if you keep the, uh, the input on. So that's the same for all the wheels. Both controllers are configured that way. Now, how you trigger the controllers is important. You can see I've got two sensors here, and that's actually going to be easier to see over here. I've built a, another one. Uh, this is just right set up. So two sensors here. Now you've got an engine set to the outside ones. And you can see one is counterclockwise and one is clockwise. And then you've got the steering mechanism is route, route to the middle one. Now what this allows me to do is if you look at this, 
If I steer to the right, it'll block that right sensor and turn the real right side wheel on, all right? If I steer to the left, it'll block the left sensor and turn the left sides on. If I push forward, both of those outside ones curve in, and now both wheels go. And if I hit back, it pushes them out and they stop. So that's the problem I can't get rear wheel or reverse yet is because there's no way to really um, reverse a bearing to go the opposite direction based on input. So there's another feature I would love to request to developers. Um, but yeah, so this is working tank steering, just using this little steering mechanism I invented. So uh, pretty easy to copy. Um, I can probably make another one really quick just show you. So put three sensors or three uh, bearings. Um, let's grab some sensors. Oh, come on, sensor. And you're going to rotate, put those right in the middle, one block back. And then you can have, let's build it with a different block just so it's easier to see. This one goes out two, these ones go out three. And then you have some kind of a blocker here so that these, um, remember the, an engine is gonna turn these so you don't want it to go too far or it will bind like what happened to the tank. We turned it too hard and it just got bound into itself. So that just blocks it so these can't turn too far. And then you also want to have something, you can see I'm setting off the sensors right now. If you attach a block to a sensor that's part of the same machine as the sensor, it doesn't sense it. So those are just to block it. So now I don't get in the way of the sensor. And we can hook those up. We just set this one to the engine, this one to the engine. We make sure that both of the arrows are facing towards the center. And then we hook this one to the steering column. And that one, you just kind of have to adjust based on which way goes which. But now you can see left, right, forward. Whoa, oh, we forgot one thing. So put that back in. We've got to put a block um, right here and there. So that when I hit reverse, it stops it there. Forward, reverse. <laughs> Cool. Well, that's about it for the tank. Hope you guys liked this episode. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, share it around the interwebs, and uh, everybody can see how to build these. We should we should see a lot of this um, steering mechanisms um, come in the future just because there's a lot more control. And then if they add some of those features that I just talked about, we can even, you can even make it better. Let's go ahead and blow up something. Boom! Oh, never mind. <laughs> can take out my pistons. Here we go. Let's try and drive over them again. Take that. Oh no. We can do it. Come on. We can do it. We can get over. Yes. <laughs> I want to see if I can drive up these stairs. Oh, it's so loud. Oh, we hit a tree. Oh, come on. Oh, I wonder if I can... Oh, uh, nope. <laughs> I was trying to try and use the... Uh the arm to hit the tree <laughs> and turn us but it's doesn't seem like it's gonna work so i'm still yet to figure out the reverse if anyone can uh implement some other mechanism to uh make that work uh another thing i tried i can show you guys let's take off one of the wheels coverings is putting a bearing here and then another wheel on that and then trying to reverse that bearing um, but that doesn't work. It just spins the wheel, it spins the bearing, but nothing happens to the wheel. Apparently on the outside of a wheel, this bearing doesn't actually spin it. So that was a big bummer. I was hoping I, I could accomplish it that way, but, um, oops, come on. But there might be another way. Once they add the welding tool, which they're working on, and, um, I'm pretty sure it was, it's going to be a lot easier to, uh, do a lot of these really cool machines because you can attach mold, mold blocks to multiple pieces, multiple contraptions, whatever. All right, let's see if we can turn without hitting the tree this time. And nope, nope, too much, too much, too much. Yep, I guess we can't do it. Oh, we just don't have the clearance. Yeah, that's my problem. I, I built the front out too big. All right. Well, that's going to do, guys. Um, 
Hope to see you guys in another episode of Scrap Engineers. And this has been Fletcher X. Catch you later. Bye.